Okay, I am keeping my head off of this. I don't know if anybody's going to come on or not, but somebody will see it later, possibly. I'm showing some jewelry that I purchased today um, on my way home from a job that I did this afternoon. I worked in Sewickley, cleaned by myself a huge, uh, it's about 3,600 to 4,000 square feet home um, with all wood. I did it in five hours pretty well today, but I, I don't feel like putting makeup on, so my head's going to be cut off of this. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to show jewelry that I picked up. I went to the red, white, and blue on uh, Ohio, Ohio River Boulevard. And I have found some nice things. Um, I'm starting to understand what different things are just from talking to other dealers on Mercari and watching people on, uh, you know, on YouTube, whatever. Um, but this piece here, let's just get right to it. This is two pieces of celluloid, and, um, and it just unsnapped, but whatever, I'll reattach that. Uh, two pieces of celluloid in faux pearls, fake plastic pearls. Now, I don't know exactly how old this is. I would say 40s, 50s. I'm not sure. I'd have to check it. But anyways, I found this, <laughs> which I like it kind of. I won't wear it, but I want to test it. And, and see if it's possibly Bakelite as well. Because it possibly could be Bakelite. Um, it's definitely celluloid. I know the feel. I stole a brooch, um, chariot and horses, to a woman on Mercury not long ago. Oh, made out of celluloid. But there you go. Lovely celluloid. Cheap necklace. Um, I found a set of bracelets. 99 cents. Okay. Now... I tested them. I believe this one is silver. Not worth a whole lot, but worth more than 99 cents. Um, it's pretty. It has some raised designs off of it. You know, I tested these already. Uh, these three stick. I don't know what they are. They'll be thrown aside, and I will put these into a large bundle of jewelry. Um, you know, I'll go silver tone jewelry and, and give somebody a good deal on it. This bangles Monet. Doesn't stick to the magnet, but it's not silver. Monet is not typical of silver jewelry. They are costume jewelry. Um, this is uh, this is pretty. It's got raised like designs on it, and it's built like this piece here is like built uh, like put in under there. This is probably definitely silver. I have to test it, but the look, the feel, it looks and feels like silver. Not a whole lot of money. $15, $20 of maybe value, maybe less. I don't know. But anyways, it was 99 cents for all of them. I'll sell these ones off. The Monet one I'll stick in with a Monet bundle. I'm trying to get my Monet up in together to sell in the future. I found a number of Tosine necklaces, which are really, really beautiful. Um, And these are in great condition. One has a marking on it. I'm going to have to look at it. I'm not real concerned now. Um, it's costume jewelry. I know that. It's closing A. It's not gold, but it's pretty. Uh, these are in really good condition, too. And this one is really, really nice. I'm getting a collection of them now. I may do a bundle, uh, a lot of closing A bracelets and put them on Mercury and... Uh, just sell them like that. But I don't know. I found a green. This is an old one. Greenish one today. Pink. And a blues, different colors of blues. And then this one has a name on it. I am curious whose name that is. Let's see. It's costume jewelry. I know that. This is definitely not gold. I mean, you can tell by failing it even. Um, I don't know. I'll look at it later. I found a pair of vintage Musi rhinestone shoe clips. Now, I thought they were fur clips, um, but they're too small. They don't open enough anyways. And I and I Googled it. And Musi is, um, they said if there are shoe clip collectors, Musi or Musi, don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's M-U-S-I. They are the first... Um, creators uh, you know they a collector would want these they said so i grabbed them because they were really cheap 
and I figured I'd hold on to them for a while. They stick to the magnet. They're rhinestones. They're pronged. Um, they're pretty. I'd wear them. <laughs> Who wears tenny cl uh, shoe clips, though, really? But there they are. I have to figure out how much they're worth. I'm sure I could sell these to a dealer. That's something that they would be in, somebody would be interested in. I came across a bunch of USA um, brooches. They got a whole bunch of them. And um, I don't know, I'll put them in a lot probably and sell them. I have a flag with rhinestones and cheap. I, there's actually, um, I think that's an Italian American one. Lovely, isn't it? Whatever. I just grabbed them because they were really cheap. And oh my god, there's even a pair of earrings. <laughs> flag earrings. An angel flag. Everything USA flag. This one's cute. This is a little. This one is probably maybe a name brand. I have to look that one up. It has that fancy little clasp on the back. Um, I'll look that one up. Whatever. Just a bunch. Oh, and this one's pretty. Look this one up too. It's rhinestones. All right, so I've got a bunch of flags here, USA. Somebody donated them a product once Trump didn't get in office, maybe. <laughs> I don't know why so many flags were left there, but I found pretty close in a. These are beautiful little earrings. These, I got them in a bag. Um, Really cheap, but they're close in a uh, earrings as well. They don't really match the other jewelry, but they're nice. They look handmade, like somebody probably took two beads from off of a bracelet and made a pair of earrings out of them. These are ugly, J. Crew. These aren't vintage. I'd throw these in a lot. They're just a white pair of earrings, dangly. And these look like another um, enamor uh, closing. I'd have to study them further to see if they're even worth anything. But whatever, a bunch of junk jewelry. These look like paparazzi earrings, and I think I don't like their jewelry. I think it's ugly, and it's it's modern. It's not vintage, so you can't even get away with selling it. These look like a pair of enamel earrings, but I think I'm doing a really terrible job displaying them. <laughs> whatever. Um, I need to get a, uh, a webcam, which I'm going to do. I just didn't feel like going today. Found a couple of Lisner pieces, vintage um, bracelets that are really, really beautiful. This is a white rhinestone Lisner, 50s or 60s. I've dated it still. I haven't dated it. It does. It has a the clasp is probably 50s or 60s. I don't know, though, for certain. But it's beautiful. It's about seven inches of white rhinestones. That's Lisner. It's a vin good vintage brand name. And this one is a also a Lisner. It is pinkish and red rhinestone bracelet. It's really beautiful, actually. I have to price them. I don't know what I'll sell this for, but I'll put everything on my website or carry site. And my sister and I are going to attempt to do a uh, a sale next week. We're going to attempt at an auction sale on Facebook. We'll see how that goes. Um, but it's on my page, which is Vintage uh, Jewelry Galore. And can be searched by looking at Vintage Thrifter Anna on Facebook. You'll find the page. But this is Cove marked Coventry. It has the safety, um, the class safety pin on it, which I always thought this was actually a hook for a pen. So you can wear it as a pendant as well. But as I found out from watching the Hudson, Hudson Vintage, who's everything vintage. <laughs> She has, um, she knows a lot. She said this is safety for the, uh, like a safety for the, the brooch pin. But this is just signed Coventry. I have to look it up. Um, it's beautiful. It resembles, oh, geez, I'm dropping it. I can't, could hook it on there, I guess. 
it resembles uh, my Florenza brooch and design that I really love. I'd seen one of these on Mercury and I actually wanted to buy it um, and I held off. I'm glad I did because I found it really cheap today. And whatever, I could pin it on there, but I'm not even getting any views at this point. Um, I mean, it doesn't mean I won't in the future. And I'm probably fading in and out tomorrow. I'm going to get a webcam and I'm going to try to make my videos better. But there we go. That's a Coventry, beautiful. That's a glass stone in the middle. Kind of looks like an opal. And we have pink and green rhinestones. I believe they're pronged. This, I would suspect, Sarah Coventry has been out for since early 40s. This could easily be, I mean, late 40s. This could be late 40s, early 50s. I have to look it up by the way it's designed. I, It's something good. Um, I can I can just tell by looking at it. I have to look it up. And it also has that old vintage, not a pendant. That's not for a pendant. It's a safety for the uh, clasp. I have no idea how that's a safety. I guess, but I, I don't know what that purpose would be. But it doesn't have, it's not closed on the bottom. So I believe she's correct at what she's saying. This is a no name, unpronged rhinestone brooch. It has green, blue. It's, it's actually beautiful. It's unmarked. I have to look it up. And then there's. This one with rhinestones. I've Those were on a bag together. I found this. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think it's ugly. It's a loft. Uh, whatever, we'll stick it on here. This is a loft uh, rhinestone necklace, okay? I could tear it apart, and I can make three bracelets out of it. It has whitish, whitish pink. At the bottom, we have pink, we have these white, and we have more pink rhinestones. Loft. They have it priced at $45 at the tag on it. Selling it, I could probably get $20, $15, 20 I, I don't really like it. It's a bit cheap. It'll stick to a magnet. I know that just by feeling it, and it definitely does. Um, it's uh, I can make a, an, a bracelet out of this. And one out of this, at least two, maybe three bracelets to make like $40, $50 off of it, which I might do. Found an 18. Now, I don't know anything about this. I have to investigate it. I've been buying watches and I've been lucky with them so far. This is a quartz, has a safety chain, 18 karat gold coated. I haven't opened it up. It's a quartz. I know it's not going to have any stones in it, but it's pretty. These are glass, like, um, opaly tiger eye, um, stones on it. Just trying to close it. Um, I need to investigate further. It has rhinestones on it. It's missing one. I could replace it. If I get a battery in this, I could sell this for 30 Forty dollars. I have to investigate the name. I got it really cheap. Um, chances are it works. If it doesn't, I'll rip the stones out of it and try to make something or sell them to somebody that can make something out of it. It's really pretty though. Um, I found that this it, it's it's known it's not marked. I mean, it is marked, and I have to read what it says still, so, but it's pretty. Probably a rhinestone, and I don't know, maybe a Monet. I have to check it out, but it's a pretty bracelet. Found a little faux pearl. No idea what that is. I can't see anything. I need one of those magnifying glasses, whatever. Um, There, it has an inside box clasp. It doesn't seem to be marked. I have to look at it. I really can't tell how old it is because they've made jewelry to make it look old and it's not. This is love and I love you on it. <laughs> Check that out later. I am mostly going to go on with her. Um, doing a shitty video. But. Oh, I found a bag of, I got to pick the bag of earrings up, mainly because these aren't really, 
Well, these ones are marked with something, and I don't know. They just look like, and they're not sticking. They look like gold. Um, start, I can pick up what gold looks like without um, an identifier on it, but they are marked. And I think it might say KP, which is another, or K, I have to, K9. I have to look it up. I looked it up in the thrift store, and I think these may be gold hoops, like kerosene's not really hoops, but um, I'm going to look them up. They don't stick to a magnet, and they do have a marking in them. It's a different marking that's not typical for gold, but I have a sheet that I downloaded. I have to look on it. I think they may be gold. I thought these were unique looking. I'll be able to sell these easily. Um, they're a little tangled up, but they're chains. A ball hanging on into chains, but I know these aren't gold. They're not sticking, but they're definitely, they don't look like gold. And I These look like, like, uh, <laughs> something. They're really strange looking. Look at that. They're bent up, actually. I'm going to have to bend them, but they look like a modern, uh, that's an earring, actually. Some modern jewelry art jewelry from probably maybe the 90s style it's all metal the one's gonna be fixed um these are pretty i'll be putting these all on my mercury site or selling these some of the vintage things i will sell attempt to sell on next wednesday on the third on facebook um and I had some cheap hoops once again. And that's basically it. <laughs> that's all for the video, too. I'll have a webcam. My videos will be improving. I just wanted to do another one. Um, hopefully, I my voice was, uh, you could hear me. And hopefully, somebody, people watch this. And we can get more attendees if there are people who see this that haven't seen it on the Facebook page. Um, we'll be doing a sale on Wednesday, March the 3rd, 7 to until it goes on. It, we're booked for three hours, but um, we'll be selling vintage jewelry and vases and things like that. And I'll have the webcam, so hopefully it'll sound and look better than this does. Okay, have a good night. That was a waste of my time. New.